Question number one. Audi cuts out a rectangular plank of area 72 cm square and perimeter 34 cm. So the question is calculate the length and width of the plank. So here I already prepared a diagram of a rectangular plank. Okay, let's say this is the length of the plank. Let's say we label it as x and this is going to be the width of the plank and we're going to label it using the letter y. Alright, so the first information is the area of the plank is 72 centimeter square. So to get the area of a rectangular plank, we're going to multiply the length and the width. Therefore, x multiply y, which is xy, equal to 72. So that is our first equation. Next, the perimeter of the rectangular plank is 34 centimeter. Now to get the perimeter, we're going to sum up all the, uh, all the length of the rectangular plank. So therefore, you're going to have 2x plus 2y equal to 34. That will be our second equation. So I'm going to label it as 1 and 2. So we're going to solve these uh, simultaneous equations here. Uh, I'm going to use the substitutions method. And I'm going to choose x from the equations 1 to become uh, the subject of the formula. So from equations 1, the x is equal to 72 divided by x. And I'm going to label this as my equations number 3. So next, I'm going to substitute the equations 3 into the equations number 2. So 2 times 72 over y plus 2y equal to 34. So here you're going to have 144 over y plus 2y equal to 34. Now, um, I'm going to multiply each term here with y in order to get rid of the denominator of the y here. So here the y will be cancelled. Therefore, you're going to have 144 plus 2y squared equal to 34y. So this is a quadratic equation. So I'm going to arrange this in general forms. So I, uh, I got to move this 34y to the left hand side and then I am going to arrange this. So you're going to get 2y squared minus 34y plus 144 equal to 0. And I can simplify these equations by dividing uh, every terms by using number 2. So here you're going to have y squared minus 17y plus 72 equal to 0. So you can solve this using the factorization methods or, or the formula. As this one you can uh, factorize it completely. So we're just going to use uh, factorizations. So you're going to get y minus 9. Another one is y minus 8. Right? So therefore, y is equal to 9 or y is equal to add. So now we're going to find the value of the x. So next, I'm going to substitute the y equal to 9 and the y equal to add into the equations number 3. So the first one, you're going to get x equal to 72 divided by 9, which is going to give you the answer of x. Another one will be x equal to 72 divided by x, which you want to get the answer of 9. Alright, so we have two pairs of answer here. As we already label the length as the x and the width as the y, and the length is longer than the width, therefore, in this case, we can say that the length of the rectangular plane is equal to 9 cm, 
where as the width of the rectangular plank will be equal to at centimeter. Question number two. The diagram shows the plan of a rectangular garden which will be constructed by Sharikat Persona Alam. The corner of a garden will have a rectangular pond. The area to be covered with grass is 96 meters square and the perimeter of the pond is 20 meters. So the question is calculate the value of x and y. So here we know that the grassy area is equal to 96 meters square. Here the pond, the length is y meter. And the width of the pond here, we can find by using 12 meter, the overall length here, minus with the x. So it's going to be 12 minus x meter. Now to solve for the x and y, we need to first uh, form the equations. So according to the information given in the equations, the first one is the area, right? Of the grassy area. So to find the grassy area, we're going to use the overall the uh, the area of the overall rectangular gardens and we're going to minus it with the area of the ponds then we're going to get 96 meters square so the area of the rectangular garden you can find it by using the length multiply the width which will be 12 times 10 all right let's on we're going to minus it with the area of the uh, pond so the area of the pond will be the length multiplied the width as well because this is in a rectangular shapes. So it's going to be y multiply 12 minus x. And this will give us the answer of 96. So here next 12 times 10, you're going to have 120. So this one, you just need to expand it. So here you're going to get negative 12y plus xy equal to 96 so this is the first equations that we can find uh, next we're going to find another equations based on the perimeter of the pond which is 20 meter now to find the perimeter of the ponds we're going to sum up all the length so therefore the y plus y here will give you the answer of 2y Plus the width of the ponds is going to be 2 times the 12 minus x. And this will give us the answer of 20. So next let us expand it. So here you're going to get 24 minus 2x equal to 20. So this is the two equations that we find. So here I'm going to solve this using the uh, substitutions method. Um, so here I'm going to choose the x from the equations number 2 to become the subject of the formula. As if you look at equations number 1, you only have 1x. So you just need to substitute uh, once into the equations number 1. So here I'm going to move this negative 2x to the right hand side so that it will become a positive and the 20 to the left hand side so next you're going to have so here i just going to write from equations number 2 so 2x equal to 2y plus 24 minus 20 all right so 2x is equal to 2y plus 4 so I can simplify everything by dividing it by 2 so here you're going to have x is equal to y plus 2 all right so this I want to label is as my equations number 3 so next I'm going to substitute the equations number 3 into the equations number 1 so 120 minus 12y plus, so the x will be y plus 2. And then multiply with the y equal to 96. So next I'm going to expand this. So this is a quadratic equation. So uh, I'm going to move the 96 to the left hand side and going to write it in the general forms. Then we're also going to solve for the like term. So first, we're going to have y square 
and then this negative 12y is going to plus with this y which will give you the answer of negative 10y and then 120 minus the 96 you're going to get a positive 24 equal to 0 all right as this quadratic equations we are able to factorize it completely so i just going to use the sub uh, the factorization method so here you're going to find that the first bracket is the y minus 6 and the second bracket is y minus 4 equal to 0 therefore the y is equal to 6 or the y is equal to 4 so next we're going to find uh, the answer for the x so next i just going to substitute so i'm going to write it here the y equal to 6 and the y equal to 4 into the equations number 3 so the first one is going to be x equal to 6 plus 2 which is equal to 8 or the net, the other one is x equal to 4 plus 2 so the x here will equal to 6 so we have two pairs of answer here the first one is when the x is equal to 8 the y is equal to 6 the second one will be when the x is equal to 6, the y will be equal to 4. Alright, so now let us look at the first pairs of answer. So when the x is equal to 8, the y is equal to 6. Therefore, the width of the pawns here is going to be 12 minus 8, which is equal to 4. So if you look at here, it is quite logic. Now, why don't we look at the, the other pairs of answer? So when the x is equal to 6, the y is equal to 4. Therefore, if you look at here, the width of the pawn will be 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6. Now, if you look at here, um, it's not quite logic as if you look at the diagram, even though it's not uh, drawn to the scale. Uh, the, the width of the pawn definitely is not take up half of the length of the rectangular gardens. Therefore, for these questions, I'm going to choose the answer x equal to 8 and y equal to 6 as it gives you a more convincing uh, answer for this case.